वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल दैट इज़ फास्ट एंड ईजी मैथ्स विच इज़ डेडिकेटेड टू गिव यू टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स रिलेटेड टू मैथमेटिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइन टू शो यू अर ट्रिक विथ विच यू कैन सॉल्व ऑल ऑफ दीज कॉम्प्लिकेटेड क्वेश्चन इन मैटर ऑफ फाइव टू टेन सेकेंड्स डिपेंडिंग ऑन योर कैलकुलेशन स्पीड ओके ट्रस्ट मी इट इज सुपर सिंपल यू डोंट हैव टू इवन थिंक मच इन दिस यू जस्ट हैव टू फोकस ऑन ओनली वन फॉर्मूला या इट्स सो सिंपल राइट वेन एवर यू हैव ए स्क्वेर माइनस बी स्क्वेर ओके दैट कैन बी एक्सपेंडेड इन टू ए प्लस बी एंड ए माइनस बी सो समाइम्स प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दिस ए स्क्वेर माइनस बी स्क्वेर कैन बीट एज ए इन टू ए माइनस बी इन टू बी ओके यू डोंट हैव टू वरी ऑन दैट it is very very simple it is nothing but a square minus b square okay so over here let's start with our first question here again like i said it is a into b minus b b into b which is basically they are trying to tell you to find a 83 square minus 117 the whole square so which when expanded you will get 883 plus 117 and you will get 883 minus 117 trust me students you might be wondering now this is also not small na like you have to add and then you will have to subtract and and then finally you have to multiply but trust me it is very very simple here when you add all of it you get 1000 7 plus 3 is 10 One carry, so nine plus one is again ten. One carry, nine plus one is again ten, so thousand. Okay, and when you subtract eight eighty three from one one seven, so you get thirteen. So then uh, seven taken from thirteen is six, and eight taken from oh sorry seven taken from one is again six. So then you have seven sixty six. Yeah. So here your final answer just becomes seven six six, and you just add three zeros to it. So option C is your answer. Students, if you are liking the way I am explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. Okay. So and also don't forget at the end of this video, I am going to put up a DIY whose answer you will be able to. solve with using this trick and you will let me know your answers in the comment section i will definitely tell you whether you are right or wrong okay so now again this is of the form a square minus b square divided by 30000 so simply now let's very quickly do this on your own so when you add sorry when you add 6 7 8 9 5 3 7 8 9 5 you are left with there is a zero then there is uh 9 and 9 18 and 1 carry 9 1 carry so 8 and 8 16 and 1 70 1 carry 14 plus 1 5 1 carry so then again 10 right and that is getting multiplied why Uh, six seven eight nine five minus three seven eight nine five. So again, seven eight nine five and seven eight nine five will get you how many zeros? One two three four, and three and six when subtracted gets you three. So you saw you are getting one zero seven five seven nine zero into thirty thousand. But don't worry, the final question also gets divided by thirty thousand. So this can simply cancel, and your final answer is just option C. So you saw how easy this entire tricky looking business became. Yeah. Now please understand. Here we are looking at decimal, and this is getting finally divided also by zero point zero seven. Okay. All lot of y'all might try, think that okay, let's do the division and all that. Sorry, let's do the subtraction. But the thing is, division also takes lot of time. So I'm telling you, if you look closely, here can I say three twenty four is whose square? It is eighteen square. And eleven, sorry, one twenty one is whose square? Eleven square. Okay. Now the problem is we have a decimal in picture. Okay. So can I say when I take square root of this, I am actually getting zero point one eight. 
and that will get added to 0 0.11 similarly it can get 0 0.18 minus 0 0.11 this whole thing will get divided by 0 0.07 okay if you all have doubts i can very quickly show you how did i get this this is nothing but 324 upon 10000 so when i take a square root this gets me 18 upon 100 and this when converted into decimal it is 0 0.18 i hope now it is very very clear now please understand in entrance exams you do not have that much of time so you know like you can again you know add and then calculate this separately but if you look closely when you subtract 0 0.18 by 0 sorry 0 0.11 from 0 0.18 you are getting 0 0.7 so this is just getting cancelled please understand i can cancel this because there is a multiplication sign between the two brackets had there been any other sign apart from multiplication let's say there was a plus sign or there was a minus sign then in that case i can never ever cancel the numerator and the denominator you can only and only if cancel if the entire numerator is getting multiplied by something which is getting cancelled in the denominator okay so now you just have to add 0 0.18 by 0 0.11 so you're getting 0 0.29 so option a is your right answer now students i want all of you all to pay attention to this sum because this is not typically how we solve but trust me using this particular expansion you will be making things much much easier for yourself so please understand here you have everything in plus so let's just think and multiply the numerator by 3 minus 1 and let's keep the rest as it is now if i am multiplying something then i have to divide it also by the same amount otherwise the number value will change okay now this is of the form of a plus b into a minus b so i can write this as nothing but 3 square minus 1 square can be written as just 1 right and then we have 3 square plus 1 then we have 3 raised to 4 plus 1 and we are still having 3 minus 1 in the denominator now can i say this is also of the form of a plus b and a minus b so that now my index changes to what 3 raised to 4 please understand the index is doubling here the index was 1 then it changes to 2 why because a plus b into a minus b gets you a square minus b square right so similarly 3 square ka square will get you 3 raised to 4 minus 1 raised to 4 which can be written as just 1 and then you are left with 3 raised to 4 plus 1 in the denominator can i write this as 3 minus 1 as nothing but 2 and again if i apply this particular formula then if i literally you know use this we are just left with 3 raised to 8 minus 1 upon 2 so option b is my right answer now coming for your diy today i'm going to put up a decimal question you know for me to understand that is the decimal uh, the decimal concept is clear or not if it is not then i will definitely make a video on same so 0 0.81 minus 0 0.49 upon 0 0.7 okay do let me know your answers in the comment section okay um one second let me just check sorry this was getting divided by 1.6 yeah do let me know your answers in the comment section i will definitely tell you whether you're right or wrong so that's it for now i will very soon see you in the next video